Okay, everyone, welcome to our two week journey to Brazil. Today for our first recipe, we're making empadinhas with shrimp filling. Um, they're kind of like little mini shrimp pot pies, kind of like a little mini empanada, but they are so good. Seriously, one of my favorite recipes I've made on the blog. So I'm excited to show you how to make them. To start off this recipe, we have to make a roux. So to make a roux, you need four tablespoons of unsalted butter, and I'm gonna let this melt in here, and then I'm gonna add one half cup of flour and dump that into the butter, and then mix it up, and you'll see that the consistency of it really starts to change and gets to be kind of like a, a paste here. It kind of forms into one ball. So we're gonna mix that together, and then, when it's all combined. First, we'll start off with maybe, so there's one and a half cups total of the chicken broth. We'll start off by putting in probably about a half cup to lighten this up a little bit. I'm just gonna whisk this up so that I can kind of break up that um, ball that we had earlier out of the flour. And the longer you cook this on the stove, the more it's gonna thicken up. So at first you'll think it's a little bit too liquidy to put in the uh, inside of a pastry, but the longer you cook it, the more it's gonna thicken in the rest of the liquid now. Okay, so I'm gonna mix this up and I'm gonna keep a watch on it, but for now I'm gonna move on to the shrimp filling over here. So next we're gonna make, um, put all of our other ingredients on this pan and then once they're done, we're gonna combine them together. So here on this pan, I'm gonna pour in about maybe one tablespoon of oil into my pan here, and then put in one teaspoon of chopped garlic and one onion chopped pretty finely. Now these are mini um, empadinhas or little mini pot pie looking things. So you're gonna want all of your chopped ingredients to be really, really small because um, they're all gonna go into something really tiny. So you wanna make sure that they can fit, that there's enough room for all of the ingredients in there. So while this is cooking up, I'm gonna let it cook for maybe five or so minutes until the onions become translucent and then we'll add the rest of the ingredients. For now, I have one pound of shrimp and I took all of the tails off of them. I actually buy cocktail shrimp just because to me, um, I really don't like deveining the shrimp. So I tend to, if I can, always buy pre-cooked shrimp and then I just use those in my recipes. Sometimes I have to go with raw shrimp. But for this recipe, I bought cocktail shrimp so it's ready to go except for the tails raw. So I took the tails off and what we're gonna have to do is put this in a food processor or a blender. I have a food processor, it's kind of scary. I haven't figured out quite how to use it yet, so I only got it a couple days ago. So for now, I'm gonna use my handy dandy blender and I'm gonna put my shrimp into this blender and we're gonna blend them up so that they become, it's, we don't want it to be a puree, but kind of um, just in smaller chunks a little bit, a little shredded kind of, I guess would be the right word there. Put this in here. Turn the power on and then we're just gonna pulse it. Those should be good, so we're gonna use that in a second. I'm gonna stir this up here, and as you can see, this is starting to thicken a little bit. And so at this point, I'm probably going to turn this off and leave it on the side, and we're gonna put this into our empadinhas later. All right, our onions are pretty translucent, so now I'm going to put in one tomato that I've chopped up. Again, same thing with the onion. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that it's chopped up pretty finely. And then I also have two tablespoons of tomato paste. I'm gonna put in here. And that tomato paste actually kind of gives the filling a really fun color. I'm gonna mix this all up. The tomato paste is kind of hard to combine. So just make sure that you get it in there. And we're gonna let those tomatoes simmer down for just a second too. So as you can see, the, uh, the tomatoes are starting to break down a little bit, which means it is time to add the shrimp. And add my shrimp in. Oh. <laughs> Got a little shrimp on the floor there. All right. That is my one pound of shrimp that we blended up a little bit earlier. And I also got one um, quarter cup of frozen corn kernels. 
and one quarter cup of frozen peas. And you don't really need to thaw those or anything before you use them because they're gonna thaw very easily once they're in here. So I'm gonna make sure that this is all mixed together again. And the shrimp is already cooked, so that makes this really easy because you don't need to worry about it cooking all the way through because when you buy cocktail shrimp, it's already cooked all the way through. So we're just gonna mix this to combine it. So I'm gonna add a little bit of salt here, a little bit of pepper. And then the last thing that we're gonna do is take that roux that we made earlier with the, um, the gravy for the inside of this. And we're gonna dump it into this and combine it all together. This seems to be actually a really good consistency. You wanna kinda of think of what you want the inside of a pot pie consistency to be like. So this actually looks perfect. So I'm gonna leave this to cook for maybe two or three minutes just to make sure it's all warmed up and that all of the flavors are kind of combined together. And then we're gonna move over to our countertop and we're gonna assemble them. Brazil is the fifth largest country in the whole world and there are actually 13 cities with over 1 million people in Brazil. And Brazil gets its name from a tree, the Brazil wood tree. Now that the filling to our empatinhas is done, it's time to actually assemble them. So in order to do that, you're gonna need two different cookie cutters, one that's three inches around and one that's two inches around. So I bought pre-made pie dough. Um, it's in the refrigerator section. It's already ready to go. It's perfect, delicious, easy. If you want, you can also make your own pie dough, but in order to make this a little simpler, I just chose to buy some. So what we're gonna do is cut out a couple of these big ones, and then we're gonna do a couple of the small ones. So the big ones are for the bottom of the um, empadinhas, and then we're gonna fill them, and then we're gonna use the little two inch rounds to put them over the top, and that will be the top of the empadinhas. So I just kinda do this all the way around. Can I fit one last one? Yeah, good enough. They don't have to be perfect. And then I'm gonna do this all around the inside and get a couple little guys here. Okay. Now the good thing about this is that obviously you have a lot of dough left, so you can just kind of re-roll and make some more. But what we're gonna do here is we'll take the big one and we'll put it in our mini pie tins. So make sure that you have mini pie tins and we'll line the mini pie tins with the three inch circles. I've lined the tins with this. And what I'm gonna do now is move this over here and just kind of take maybe a teaspoon or so of the filling and put it in until it's about even with um, the pie tin. So fill all of these up. Make sure that all of these are filled all the way up. Get some, get some uh, good peas and um, corn, shrimp in every single one. And then what we're gonna do is take this top right here, put it over the top, and then just kind of pinch them together so that it kind of makes like a little raised edge around the whole thing. Now make sure that you pinch this kind of tight because as they cook in the oven, they kind of tend to break apart. The, the filling starts to bubble a little bit and if you haven't pinched your pot pie um, lids on really tightly or your empatinha lids on really tightly, it's gonna kind of bubble out and the lid is gonna separate from the empatinha bottom. So make sure that you pinch them pretty tightly and keep them on there. Once you put all of the, um, all of the empadinhas, you fill them in here, the last thing that you're gonna do is I have an egg that I've cracked and I'm just gonna whisk up this egg and we're gonna put a little egg wash on the top to make sure that they brown really nicely. So take your little brush here and brush them across the top. And then once you've done all of your empadinhas, which I'm gonna keep doing now, we're gonna put them in the oven for about 30 or so minutes at 350 degrees, and they should be perfect and ready to go from there. 
The most popular type of music in Brazil is Brazilian funk. And the funny thing about Brazilian funk is that it's actually just one beat used over and over and over again. And it's a constant rapid beat, but every time they make a new song with it, they change the words and use the same beat over and over for over a thousand different songs, just with different words. But it never gets old, it never gets boring, and it's one of the best types of music that Brazilians like to listen to. Look at these beautiful bad boys coming out of the oven. This is, like I said, one of my very favorite recipes on the foreign fork. They are awesome, but there's a, a lot of uh, ingredients in them. So if you need the recipe written out, head on over to my blog, www.foreignfork.com slash empadinas, and the recipe will be there. For now, I'm gonna try one. Pot pie is one of my very favorite foods in the whole world. And this is spectacular because they're little bite size, perfect for appetizers, and they're definitely something that you need to try. So head on over again to www.foreignfork.com slash empadinas. And then also check back next week because we are going to be making a Brazilian dessert that is awesome. All right, I will see you next week. Thanks for stopping by. So if you all are really liking these videos and you want to see more of them, then remember to just hit the subscribe button down there and then that way you can make sure not to miss anything else.